welcome back everyone to another long overdue movie reaction. My name is Jeroen, better known as Dutch Bond fan. And returning once again is my lovely girlfriend, Lirit. Hi! <laughs> Today we are watching 1997's Tomorrow Never Dies. We left off at the Pierce Brosnan era previously. We watched his first movie, GoldenEye. Gold. And now we've reached his second movie, which I'm sure you remember was um, one of your favorites, or at least I should say it featured your favorite Bond girl. Waylin! Waylin, <laughs> yes, that's right. Because uh, previously we did sort of an unprepared format where we watched some of the Bond movies, most of the Brosnan ones, uh, and we didn't really film it in a movie reaction type of way. That must have been in 2021 or so, so a good three years ago since you've seen this movie. Um, yeah, I think so. So, like the previous two, which you've also saw for a second time, they still felt like first time watches to you. But yes. what do you remember from Tomorrow Never Dies? Um, when they're sitting on the motorcycle. With the tape or the we did the, with, we did it with tape. Oh yes, we re reenacted that scene. <laughs> um, but it was handcuffs, right? The handcuffs, yes. So Where what I've got here. Where did you get that? Oh, I just Sorry. picked it up before the video. So um, I'm gonna. I didn't know that you had this in your house. <laughs> I'm gonna handcuff us together. Don't act like you've never done this before. Oh shit! <laughs> Okay, how did they do this? They had like a couple of positions. First they... The car and the... Th this is difficult. Oh. Each other the wrong way. You should be oh. on the top. Oh. Let's try it again. Oh. Wow. Alright, try and get over my neck. Or did we do it wrong again? No. Yeah. Alright, this time it works. So this is the one where he's driving and you're driving the other side. <laughs> mm. So fuck it. So, and then he was driving like this. But with one arm? Yeah, well... He was driving... Oh no, he was driving <laughs> like this. He was driving like this. <laughs> no, that hurts! <laughs> and um, that she has her own layer. Right. With guns and everything. That's what you remember, yeah. And... Uh, Do you remember any, anything about this plot or the villains? Uh, yes, it was... Uh, the bad guy had like grey hair with the... Classes, and I remember that I didn't like him very much. Right. Yeah. I think that's. He wasn't a bad guy for me. All right, that's what you. So you remember more about this one than you did from maybe <coughs> GoldenEye and uh, License to Kill previously. Yes, because um, I'm waiting. But are you still excited to, to re-watch this with fresh eyes and, and maybe hopefully enjoy the villain more because he's actually. Um, obviously, you don't like the way he is a Bond villain, but he plays it pretty differently compared to others. So yes, maybe you would enjoy but more. The uh, license to kill that bad guy was a real oh, bad yeah, guy. Oh yeah, Sanchez. That's my favorite villain. Yeah. And the movie before this one, Golden Eye, that was an MI6 bad guy. So you had like two bad guys to top. Yeah, if you compare uh, this one, Elliot Carver, to the previous two, that's going to be tough. But uh, I hope you would still, regardless, it still has your favorite Bond girl, you would still hopefully enjoy it. This is a very action-packed movie. Yeah. Definitely a typical 90s movie. It came out in 97. Uh, I was seven years old at the time this was released. You were uh, five. So uh, we were both born in this era of Bond. Uh, obviously, Pierce Brosnan, you're familiar with him as Bond. You saw him in Goldeneye uh, last time. Um, are, are you excited to see him return again as Bond? Also in romantic comedies. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, we watched him in, in other movies too. Yes. But do you like him as Bond? Uh, yes, I like him as Bond. Good. Well, uh, without any further ado, let's see how Lyrid enjoys re-watching, this time in the new format, Tomorrow Never Dies. Oh, and if you uh, want to watch the full-length reaction, be sure to check out my Patreon page below, where all the premium supporters can watch the whole thing and all the previous uh, full-length reactions of other movie reactions, including 
non-bond movies that we're doing. Uh, you can always uh, check them out uh, over there. They're all listed in the Discord server. Anyway, without any further ado, let's now re-watch Tomorrow Never Dies. Yeah, the Brassen movies, they tend to start at the military bases, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is the black market. Yeah. It's like a terrorist supermarket. <laughs> Chinese. I didn't remember this. That's good. Oh! Let's not waste time. My man isn't finished. They just jump her. Get your man out of there. His job is over. They want to blow it up. On my count. And they will Five, fail. Four. They will fail. There it goes. Oh my god. Those are Soviet SP5 nuclear torpedoes. What's that? If you blow that up, the whole half of the country goes up. A ball missile. It doesn't work. Missile out of range. Unable. That's stupid. White knight. Come in. Keep trying down. And that's James Bond. He will fly with the torpedoes away. Right? You'll have to see. I think so. Away with it. Filthy habit. What the hell is he doing? His job. Yeah. <laughs> you already saw the subtitles. Do you see? He's flying away with the bombs. But do you, does it come back or do you what? guess or do you, no, do you remember? No, I just guess now. Because obviously you've seen it three years ago, but you don't remember this scene? No. How do you do that? <laughs> he has to go get out of there! One minute! One minute. Go, go, go! Ejector seat for uh, the other guy. Ha! Come on! That's a lucky one. He did it with his legs. Ooh. Behind you! Oh! Underneath! Ah. What's that? The button you were. So oh, and then he about. goes like this. Boof! Guess the other one. Evacuated the area. Ask the admiral where he'd like his bombs delivered. <laughs> it's a great opening, right? <laughs> the ejector seat went into the other yeah. back seat. Uh, it's Stupid fantastic admiral. opening. You can see the the theme already with the TVs and the media. It was kind of ahead of its time, you know, in the 90s with the media. Is that your watch? Oh, he actually does wear a similar one to this in uh, the movie, but I'm, I'm wearing a B brand. Mm. But yeah, you're right. It, it, uh, Omega Seamaster, I think he wears in this movie. Actually, the, the credit song, the end credit song, mm -hmm. that was the opening song that Q the Music played for... Um, uh, well, when we were at Q the Music last October. Are they insane? What are they doing? They say they're uh, you're in our territory. But the British, they're sure they're not. Remember that red box? Yes. It fucks up their GPS uh, location. So they're oh, actually, and now someone is... They're instigating the war. Remember this? No. So, these are the bad guys. Obviously, yeah. 
What's this? A bomb? A seed drill. Well, what's a seed drill? <laughs> it's a drill that can travel to the sea. Oh! Oh! They're dead! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh, that's so sad for those people! But it wasn't a torpedo, and it wasn't a Chinese. Survivors in the water. How, d how can they sleep at night? And now he can make the news. Actually, a different word. Survive. Murdered. Delicious. Oh my god. Oh no. How can they sleep at night, huh? They're Bond villains. They find it delicious. <laughs> 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 we have the perfect story with which to launch our satellite news network tonight. I don't know what I think of him. It's kind of sinister. Yes, that is. He's like the crazy bad guy, like. Yeah. he's a vain in the land. I'm just up here at Oxford, brushing up on a little Danish. <laughs> Don't ask. Don't tell. <laughs> Sometimes Who's I this? Don't think you have the balls for this job. Perhaps. The advantage is I don't have to think with them all the time. <laughs> That's enough. Remind her. Then pump her for information. You'll just have to decide how much pumping is needed, James. And in the previous movie, M was like, you're a sexist, misogynist dinosaur. And now in this movie, she's like, pump her for information. <laughs> if it involves the missions, he doesn't mind. I mean, it's still disgusting. Still disgusting. <laughs> if you just sign here, Mr. Bond. Q! One of his last movies, right? Okay. In coverage? Yes. <laughs> Fire your new BMW 750. That's another car than usually. Well, in the Braston movies, it's usually the BMWs, right? For your finger, this was before smartphones, right? Across the pad <laughs> to drive the car. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. Of course, this, yeah. Moreover, there's even less. Remember? Daphne Deckers. Yeah. Crisis. Really? Yeah. You should work in my Beijing bureau. Mr. Car Terry Hatcher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perhaps I should commission you to write a novel. Oh, heavens no, I'd be lost at sea. <laughs> I'd be lost at sea. I have a problem with a banker. Could I see you a moment? But he doesn't suspect Wei Lin. At all. No. So she's actually doing it smarter. <laughs> <laughs> Back in return. Just... Oh, faith. I promise. The... Now, cut it out. Station work. That is the goal of the Carver Media Network. What's happening? <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? I don't know. You're fired. Get out of my sight. That was tough in the part. Yeah. But she but... hasn't changed much, right, in all these years. She's older now. Obviously, but... Elliot Carver was cut off the air tonight in mid-speech. <laughs> inaugural... I... I told you I barely know him. Yeah, yeah. Liar, liar, pants on fire. He's going to kill her. I was curious. Someone yeah. else would play this part, Yeah, right? I was just about to tell you. You know who? No. Monica Bellucci. Oh, yes. That would have been... A lot better, especially during that time. Did I get too close for comfort? Yes. I don't know about you, but to me it's not believable. Like no, they, for me either. Because I think it could have been with a different actress. Or maybe a, a, a past Bond girl that you actually know their relationship. 
because now we're just tools they have had a fling in the past. And be careful. It's worth three hundred million dollars. You break it, you bought. Understand? Break it. Ah, behind the. Did you saw it in the briefcase? It was a floppy. Yeah, the scan <laughs> drive. It's the nineties. But this was pretty modern. This was before we all had gadgets in our phone. Yeah. So that that way it was still cool. Looking for a new story? They're all shooting at him. And meanwhile. She's like, <laughs> work smarter, not harder. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them on the on the newspapers. <laughs> Dead. Don't print anything these days. <laughs> The red box, Mr. Bond, and my wife. But she's dead. She's dead, right? He killed her already. Paris Carver, who has become an international figure yeah. since she became the wife of Ellie, appeared to be the victim of a self-inflicted gun wound. Reached <laughs> aboard his private jet en route to the CM. I have a clear shot at your head, Mr. Mr. Bond. That's the doctor. But this is very well done. The news is being broadcasted before it happens. Well, it's not being broadcast, it's on a tape. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you can't break it, right? Oh, not even a scratch. How? It's super armor. I wish my car had that. <laughs> oh, you can't be serious. Did you call the auto club? Do you want to call <laughs> Make Okay, I ask. How do you? <laughs> I feel like an idiot. I don't know what to say. <laughs> My cell phone opens the No, 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 Mr. Bond. I, I do it, yeah? But there's also like zzz, zzz, zzz in the cell phone, right? Ah! Oh. Wait! I'm just a professional doing a job. Me too. Me too. Such a cool moment, right? You remembered that? No. But you did know his response. Well, I think everyone knew <laughs> his response. But it's a cool moment. <laughs> it's so cool. This was the other action sequence. Do you remember this one? No. This is so cool. Pedestrians in roadway. Pedestrians in roadway. <laughs> but now they can yeah, shoot on the... that's exactly. That's, that's like weird. Maybe if, you know, because I said it in my review, how does, how does it all of a sudden break the armor now? Yeah. Maybe the super armor stops when the car is started or something? No, I but think that, not. But that, that doesn't make sense. Because they... Did it with a sledgehammer. Yeah. And it couldn't break. And now, and now with, bullets, the, with the bullets, gun? They, uh, well, machine gun bullets. What's that? Uh, use the missiles. Now. with rackets. It's a big armor, it's German, right? <laughs> it's always big. His own pins. Oh no! He's trying to... Uh oh! But his... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it went through the windows. Yeah. Oh! Reminder, unsafe driving and void warranty. <laughs> oh. Right into the insurance <laughs> Like Paris just died, but he's already like, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> you know, he already forgot about her pretty much. Will somebody use this to send the ship off course? Yes. You're 
free fall for five miles and use your oxygen or you'll die of asphyxiation. Sounds like my first marriage. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, right? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Ah! They're just dolls in real life, or what? Well, maybe they use real people, but it's probably filmed in like a swimming pool or yes. something. <gasps> Who's this? Who's this? But I never got how how did she find the ship? She doesn't even have the encoder. The Chinese, they know everything. <laughs> but it's never explained. <laughs> no. They need to hurry up. They're lucky they're not fat. Otherwise they yeah. couldn't get into the but even if you're out, you still have to swim all the way up. Yeah. In one breath. In one breath, yeah. Still interested in hostile takeovers? These are the opportunities for travel. And I like best about... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Chinese People's External Security Force <laughs> were found dead this morning in Vietnam. That's fake how he typed. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dr. Kaufman's record was 52 hours. Uh. I'm hoping to break it. <laughs> I would have thought watching your TV shows was torture enough. <laughs> <laughs> if we were like uh, cuffed to each other, I was like, no, no, I'm not jumping! I'm you not have jumping! To. This is the best scene with the Bond girl uh, for chase uh, with a chase sequence. Yeah. <laughs> These little houses, right? Yes. <gasps> That's a great stunt, right? Is that real? Yeah, they did it for real. She has to balance it again. What are you doing? Your turn. Thanks for washing my hair. Boom. <laughs> What's that? Who So he knows he might be in danger. But it looks like the guys are in danger more than she is. Yeah. This is cool because she's doing this herself. Yeah. She didn't want... Uh, you know. I would do the same. Ha! 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 <laughs> I always think that Brasson generally didn't know that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he loses character for a moment. Yes. Okay. That's the one. Not. <laughs> Why don't you run across to Halong Bay. Halong Bay. I think this is in the area of Thailand in the real life. Yeah, it <laughs> looks Mr. like. Scaramanga. Yeah. 
I think that's you, at one point you can see uh, the man with the golden gun island in the background. Mm. Oh God! Body. Yeah. Bounce not dead. He's alive. He always survives. Well, not always. You get about no time to die, but normally he always. That's when he died. <laughs> the way he does that. <laughs> so How? Stupid. He's like this. I always laugh at that moment, the way he looks so stupid when he does that. Thank you. <laughs> you did it also. I, I'm reenacting him. For dear old England, by sending this missile into Beijing. Oh. Arriving. That's a, a grenade. Just exclusive broadcasting rights in China for the next hundred years. It's yeah. quite something, actually, when you think about it. Yeah. The power of information is everything. You should, you notice it in real life too. In real life, is that also? You the media to save. Who's that? Look at William Who's Randolph Hearst. <laughs> Sorry about that. I uh. <laughs> Tuned out there for a moment. I have a backup plan. Me too. Uh huh. So do I. So do I. I'll just blow up your ship then. <laughs> Give her a gun! Fire. Unless it turns towards China. Until then, she's yours. Good hunting. <laughs> Good hunting. And now they're stopped. Put your oh. hair in a ponytail! Come on! One bullet Run. left. One! She had two bullets. Two bullets. And she used them properly. Yes! Well done, Piwo. Another one! There goes his story. Yeah. Bye bye! There's nothing you can do. <laughs> he always wants to talk his whole speech. To yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. The drill. I may have some breaking news <laughs> for you, Elliot. Give the people what they want! <laughs> That's an awful death. Yeah, but it's the it's bond villain, quick. so they always have to go in a big way, right? Oh, her, her Jane, things. Try to detonate it. The missile will set them off. Never argue with a woman. They're always right. Hey, eh? Sweetie? But now she's in the water. She said, like, uh, that you have to stop the missile and not save her. The mission right? comes first. Yeah. Ooh! Ooh! Personal to him. Ah! Uh, he's crazy. It's a good henchman. With Stamper, you can totally see that's a German guy. Yeah, he, but he, looks he also like German. like his hair is but you see in the film uh, his hair is blonde, but if you see closely, his hair is brown. You can see that. Yeah, I think you're right. It's dyed. It's dyed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. And, and he had and two different color eyes. I was wondering if you noticed yeah, that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, and, I noticed and, and that. I'm so surprised you found that out in the first viewing because I found that out only a couple of years ago. Also, he has two colored eyes. Did you notice in the movie? One is blue, one is green. Oh. Ah! <gasps> and that's with fire! <laughs> He's strong with his... Uh, yeah. With with his feet stuck. Cut her loose! And they have the fire sea above them. 
This is for air, right? Well, the music makes it also kind of a romantic moment as well because he saves her. Come on, Miley! And Bond. Do you hear the music? It's tomorrow never dies. Local authorities believe the media mogul committed suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stay undercover. <laughs> the world is safe. <laughs> oh yes, cutie music also. They, they, they started song. with this song. Tomorrow never dies. Okay, we finished re-watching Tomorrow Never Dies. Yeah. This was your second time watching this film. You seem to really enjoy it during, during the reaction, but what are your thoughts re-watching this again? Uh, I enjoyed it and some of the parts I didn't remember and some of the parts I did. Yeah, you forgot the whole opening sequence with yeah. the, the missile and the escape. Uh, and also you forgot the car park sequence with the yeah. uh, with Bond is on with the back seat the, with the game uh, yeah. joystick yeah that was good those are good sequences though right well i forgot but you <laughs> uh, of course but did you enjoy yes i enjoyed it and you but you did why. remember the the highlight of the film with the handcuffs with the handcuffs yes yeah, that, we did that with tape yeah but did it work i don't remember i don't recall did what work? With the hand. Oh yeah, we were because, stuck together. Uh, they did like this and also like this. Yeah, and then and like. -na 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 -na. So let's start into the actual verdict. Starting once again, as we always do in this format, with Bond's performance. Pierce Brosnan's second Bond film. What did you think of oh. his second outing as James Bond, 007? Five stars! Pierce Brosnan got five stars. This is very rare because you usually give either four or three to Bond. So Brosnan really convinced you in this movie. Yes. Can you tell us why uh, you like him as Bond so much? Um, well, he plays the part very well as a Bond, uh, as James Bond. He's believable, like that he's... Uh, Double A, double, double A, double A, double A, double yeah. yeah, and and also believable as James Bond. I think I I think I could believe he's a handsome man. Obviously, that that women would fall for him. I also can believe that he is capable of the shooting and the driving that he does. Yeah, in the he film. did all the sh uh, all the all the stunts himself. No, oh. no, but a lot. But that's the thing. It's so convincing that it seems to you that he did a lot of it himself. He's believable as an action star. Yeah. And as a charmer. Maybe. Do you think he's a yes, handsome, but only handsome with Bond? The, only with uh, the one with, uh, what's her name? Terry uh, Hatcher. Terry Hatcher. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't believe mm. that scene, unfortunately. But the other one, the first one in Oxford, I believed. Yeah, but I, but it's not that I don't believe that she wouldn't fall for him. I, I wouldn't believe that he would be so madly in love with her as a past romance, uh, which we talked about it during the movie reaction. It may have been so much more convincing had Monica Bellucci been there in the 90s. Maybe that know. would have been more exotic and maybe that would have been more believable. Like, oh, Bond could fall for a woman like that because, you know, it doesn't seem like... But that's she your preference. Too... Yeah, but it's also no. It was also I don't Bronson's know if she preference. could do the scene. I don't know. She did. She never did that scene. No, so that's that's true. I'm just can't. saying. I, I I feel like a lot of. Uh, uh, maybe it's because usually American Bond girls don't have that exotic nature that I think Bond would fall in love with. Because this wasn't just. A, pre a previous fling, this was supposed to be someone Bond genuinely had feelings for. But I didn't see her in other Bond movies, so I don't know their story. Exactly, that's why we have a missing link. You know, like, you know, that's, I, I completely agree that it's, it's some of the... It doesn't hit home, that moment when they kiss and, and she's like, did I get too close? And he kind of folds and is like, yes, you, you got too close. It's like that. I don't believe that at all. That Bowman. Yeah. yeah. Are you a fan of Terry Hatcher? Or? 
Well, I I, I watch her uh, <laughs> Desperate Housewives series. So isn't Denise Richards in that as well? She's in the next one, of course. No, I don't. Denise Richards, no. But she's in another thing you watch. Yes. That's uh, the real housewives of Beverly Hills. The real housewives. <laughs> anyway, we're back to Bond girls instead of housewives. Yes. <laughs> uh, this one features your favorite Bond girl. Uh, I'm not sure if she's ever going to be top for you. That no. was Michelle Yeoh playing Wei Lin. Let me guess. Five stars again for Wei Lin. I'm actually quite happy uh, you gave her five stars. Um, the floor is yours. Talk about Michelle Yeoh. Well, I s already said it in the movie reaction why I think she's five stars worthy. But she she's also believable as like she could fight and uh, that thing. she's she, she like really a can. secret agent. Because if you watch the movie for the first time and she uh, like um, says hello to Bond and what what she is, she's uh, like an news yeah agent? chinese news paper or something she said so. that's believable <laughs> yeah. and also she used the cover like actually i wasn't on the guest list i snuck in yeah and then carter was like oh this is a charming woman and he she, he never she started to question her but he immediately was on the bond yeah he was like i will put both my feet like in <laughs> yeah and she was like hi yeah yeah <laughs> But also, I think she looks really badass in the climax when she has her two machine guns and she's shooting both ways yes. with the, the MP5s. Very cool moment. Uh, of course, she needed to be saved by Bond too, but it, but it's I don't. She's not like a damsel in distress. You no, know, it's, it's she just has to be saved. Yeah. yeah, but she's very capable as well. And you could believe in, in had it been a different mission, she could save Bond just as easily. In, the, in different situations. Yes. And the motorbike chase, of course. And That's, the motorbike uh, chase from she, someone from the west and someone from the east, both on the motorcycle both. Yeah. I think there was a picture of Brasson and Michelle Yeoh from recently, where now they're all both older. And, and they I think they're still they friends. They did it on the motorcycle like this? No, also? no, just a normal picture. I'll, uh, I'll look it up. Too but bad. They, um, I think they're still, because you can tell on screen, they had good chemistry, it was fun, their dynamic. Yes. Like the arguing, but they also, you, you she, she rejects Bond a few times. Every time, and then in the last shot she just said But okay. it's also because in the end, when Carver goes, uh, your, late Mr. Um, your late friend Mr. Bond is on his way to the Ch uh, Chinese Sea as my new anchor man. And then she goes, she, you can see she cares about him. He, he, she, she gets mad that, uh, that Bond was killed. Yeah. So she secretly uh, did care about Bond in a, in a professional way, maybe. Um, despite being, I work alone at first. <laughs> it always happens. Um, let's move on to the <laughs> Bond villains. Uh, we had Elliot Carver, Jonathan Price, we had uh, Stamper, played by Stamper. Guts Otto, yeah, and Mr. Kaufman as well. He had a brief scene, the assassin, the, the quirky German assassin. Oh, the doctor. Yeah. So, uh, what did you think of the villains? Three stars. Three stars, that's pretty decent. Um, yeah, talk about what you thought about the villains in Tomorrow Never Dies. They're good, um, they're good villains, but they're better villains in other Bond movies. Yeah. But I think Three Stars is very decent for Bond villains. They yeah. did a good job with the, with everything bad. <laughs> and the last scene when the main Bond villain character, how he died. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? The, the moment with the drill. Yeah. Give the people what they want. And the other one, Mr. Stamper, with the missile. Yeah. So yeah, he seems to not, uh, when a knife got hit into him a few times, he doesn't <laughs> seem to feel pain at all. But he he fought. Yeah, he he, he, he was convinced. When well. his, uh, his foot, uh, foot sorry. was stuck. Sorry. Yeah. When his foot was stuck, he, he just 
got along with fighting with yeah, James yeah. Bond. Yeah, he's a good henchman. But those two were very uh, disturbing deaths. And the one, the doctor, was also like a... He's a quirky character that you remember, I kind of. Bond just shot him in the hat. I could shoot you from Stuttgart and still create the proper effect, like the, the Is little Stuttgart accident. far from? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Only the the other one, Gupta? Yeah, it? that's he was kind of um, a missed opportunity because other than the, the coding machine and being an IT expert, his role was kind of reduced. Like I told you during the movie reaction, mm -hmm. he originally was going to throw cards. But I think they also yeah. wasted another opportunity. And he's a magician, he can yes, throw... Yes, but how did... If they wanted to put the magician cards into the movie, how would they Well, I can that? show you the deleted scenes. There's one where he practices and there's the moment where Bond and Wei Lin are stuck in the tower on Saigon mm -hmm. and the torture equipment comes out. He was going to throw uh, in that moment at them oh, as well. Okay. But I, I was going to say, I think that's another wasted opportunity because the, the torture equipment comes out mm -hmm. and it's actually quite interesting and disturbing. Like, ooh, you know, he wanted to use that equipment and then Bond just blasts his way out of there <laughs> yeah. and, and none of it ever Nothing. comes to it. It could have been interesting if they at least started some of the torture or something. Yes, to, to because they told it about what they can do. Yeah, they the introduce it and, is. you know, you, you feel like, ooh, something scary is going to happen, but they escape using the banner quite easily. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it's uh, they, they don't use all the potential in this film in that in that regard. But oh well, three stars for the villains. Moving on to the locations of the film. What did you think? Four stars. It's another high rating for the locations. Yeah. Uh, talk about what you thought of, of the uh, how this looked. We began in Russia? Yeah. Yeah, the opening is in a snowy scene. Then we went to Great Britain. Yeah. From mostly Great just... Britain to uh, Hamburg. Yeah. Hamburg to... What was it? Great Britain or uh, the uh, yeah. South Chinese Sea? Yeah, yeah, he does a dive uh, from uh, an American base. And then they, uh, they went go to, to Saigon. Saigon. And there ended. Film. Well, yeah, in the in the seas near uh, near China. So they went all over the that side of the world. Did you think they they the locations looked good in the movie? Yes, I think in Saigon, especially it very good. Yeah. I asked you also, like, um, did they really filmed in? We Saigon? have to actually. I'm I'm not sure of the answer. If it was filmed in Saigon or if they used Hong Kong or some other place. I'm pretty sure it was or actually in Asia. Or was it just like in a... Maybe it was. I, I know parts were filmed on the back lot in the studio. In the studio. So maybe, but I think a lot of it was on location and some of it wasn't. Like the helicopter hanging that was in the studio back lot and stuff, I know that. But I, I'm pretty sure some of it is on location. But leave a comment. So they... Uh, so they just... Wiped out all Saigon. No, of course not. They never do. But it's they. they there's always a mix between studio work and actual location. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, so four stars for the locations. Moving on to Tomorrow Never Dies story. What did you think? Four stars. Four stars for the story. Yeah. Um, what did you think of the story of this film? A uh, pretty easy story. Yeah. The bad guy wanted to uh, start a war between the Chinese and the English world. Uh, so he gets the story first. Yeah. And wants just power in, in media, basically. Ratings. Um, that's it. Did you notice this story was kind of recycled from two, two previous Bond films? No. Because it was actually the same story as uh, The Spy Who Loved Me and You Only Live Twice. Mm -hmm. And then Bond teams up with a Russian agent. So it's kind of the, the third time they use this. But it's good that you didn't really notice. And now he uses like the media. Yeah. Yeah, there's always a twist where it's different. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so four stars for the story. You enjoyed it. You could follow it. Simple. Yes. 
Yeah, I, I agree. This is this is typical action movie. It's <coughs> not really a sophisticated story, but it's mm -hmm. enjoyable enough. Then I have to think. Yeah, <laughs> it's enjoyable <laughs> enough. Which brings us to your enjoyment. Yeah, five stars. Five stars. It's another high rating. Uh, talk about what else you enjoyed about this film. I was screaming all the time and I was saying their sentences. <laughs> You, you were before repeating they what were, they were saying? Yeah, yeah. before they were saying. So. Yeah, you were really into it, you, that's what you mean. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yes. So this is one of these Bond films that if it was ever on TV again, or we would want to watch it again, you wouldn't necessarily turn it off immediately. No, you because Wei Lin is in this one, and Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. So, overall that brings us to a really positive score yes. of uh, 4.3 which is rounded up to 4 stars yeah. for Tomorrow Never Dies. Are you satisfied with that rating for this film? Basically it comes down to an 8? Yes. Yeah, I think it's very decent for Tomorrow Never Dies too. It's in my uh, number 10 spot of my personal rating. It's actually quite high in my ranking as well, surprisingly, because I was always thinking it's a kind of a middle ground Bond film. It's very enjoyable and it's also the bond I grew up with, you know, the, the, my bond of the 90s. So that's, it's and nostalgic. And there is a Dutch actress or extra yeah. in... Yeah, Daphne Dekkers. Daphne She's Dekkers. the PR girl. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you want to mention before we finish off this episode? No. That was it? That was it. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed uh, her reaction. Oh. I hope that Pierce Brosnan and Waylin make a picture now on the motorcycle with the handcuffs. That's oh, fun to see. Yeah. If they still can do it. Who knows? I'll, I'll look if up. If they watch this, please do that. <laughs> I'll look up the picture of Waylin and uh, Pierce Brosnan nowadays. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this movie reaction. Next time we will delve into The World Is Not Enough, which is the Bond film starring Denise Richards, if you remember. Yes, in the mines, right? Yeah, so there's something with a mine you remember. Anything else? Uh, I, I, I'm looking at the poster right now. But I remember the bad guy who couldn't die. Who couldn't die? Yes. He was hurt a lot of times, but he didn't die. Well, we'll see what happens in the right? world is not enough. Well, you'll see in the next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed and take care. Bye, guys. Bye.